Well, hey there, you guys. Today I'm going to be doing uh, my review of the controversial Steve Rogers Captain America issue number one. <sighs> Start off. When I heard about the big reveal of Captain America being a Hydra agent, I'm going to admit to you, I was not happy. I felt that, you know, to first of all, have Sam Wilson become Captain America, which was fine in my book. I like Sam Wilson as Captain America. I've read his runs, I've read his issues, I've enjoyed that. But there was a lot of people who did want Steve Rogers as Captain America again. And there were many people who were very excited to see Steve Rogers become, well, Captain America again and get, get back to that status quo. So it is kind of a dick move on Marvel's part to go and then give us Steve Rogers, but then make him a Hydra agent. Yeah. <sighs> now, I'm a fan of Nick Spencer. I've read Morning Glories. I like Morning Glories a whole lot. Um, I've read some of his run on Superior Foes of Spider-Man as well. And I've enjoyed a lot of the work he has done. I know he's doing Ant-Man as well, but I haven't read any of Ant-Man. Although I do plan on getting into some of the Ant-Man mythos soon, because I did enjoy him in Earth Mighty Heroes. That's none, none the wiser. Point is, I like Nick Spencer. I really do. I think he has done some great writing in the past. Um, but I don't know if this is, if this is going to work or not. Um, when I said I didn't read the issue, though, know, I found I found um, why the Hydra stuff wasn't as interesting him fighting Hydra. I didn't find the backstory of Steve growing up kind of be interesting. Um, I kind of liked the um, backstory for the one child who wasn't Steve, who um, was trained to be a Hydra agent. And was gave him to the Red Skull and did what he wanted. And also the Steve Rogers who... Who did, who did get the information that he was going to become a hydrogen by his mom. And obviously he became one. And it's just... I don't know. Because <laughs> it seemed like... Because specifically when... The turn happened. Before the turn happened. When Steve was fighting Zemo. He was just by himself. No one knew with them. So he was a Hydra agent. Why is he fighting Zemo? Why does he like go against the Red Skull? Um, it did seem that like he had a problem with this new Hydra, though. That was his problem. Like there was an old Hydra, and now now there's this new regime of Hydra that is going on, and that's where his problem was coming from. Um. I don't know if Nick Spencer is going to go that route or not. It's interesting to say the least. And it is sad because you see like, you can see in the text about what Steve Rogers is thinking as he's throwing um, Jack Flick off of his, off the um, plane. Which is interesting. I, I, I get really confused on who those two psychics were throughout the whole issue. It was really annoying me actually. I believe one is called Jack Flag and Free Spirit. And those are his sidekicks. And he wanted them not to go with him. And then one went with him. And he said, no, don't go with me. Throw you off the plane. I can't have you with me. I don't think he killed him, actually. A lot of people keep saying that he killed him. But I don't think he actually did. I don't, I don't know. This, see, it feels like he's still Steve Rogers. But... You know, he just happened to have been a Hydra agent from what may have been a different type of Hydra. I don't know. I, I'm interested, to say the least. I'm intrigued about what they're going to do here. And I'm interested in bringing the next, we can mix them all. So, if anything this issue did, 
was make me intrigued. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves that issue though is still there is way, way too much dialogue. Way too much. And way too much information being thrown at you. I know I know it's an issue one to give us all information. But some of it was just unnecessary. Like when you just read how much the red skull was spewing out, then how it didn't even matter. How some Zemo was saying didn't even matter. Um, neither this stuff that Sharon was saying to Maria Hill, none of it really had any relevance in the end. May have relevance later on, but to me it just it didn't none of it seemed like it mattered. I could it felt all like jargon. Um, the history lesson was interesting though. The history of these characters, the backstory of Steve Rogers, that was interesting. And I had, a, I, I was originally thought I was going to hate the art. I thought I would hate the arts in this book. But I didn't. I liked the art in this book. It actually worked with the story that we're trying to tell here. So actually, this is actually a really interesting and really good book to probably pick up for all readers who want to know a little bit more about them. Um, who have a problem with the whole Hydra thing. Because I... I'm interested in where this goes for. Where is Nick Spencer going to go with this? I'm intrigued. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5 stars. I think... I think there's a lot of story to tell here, you guys. I really do. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. And... Um, please subscribe to listen to more of my reviews. And peace out.